Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. The next topic we are going to see. The previous topic was related to the class and one concept of the class that is the state. So next are methods. So in one particular class, you will be having the methods and you will be having the states. So previously we studied about the states. Now we are going to study separately about the methods. Then we are going to combine both. So first thing, what is a method? Method is a collection of statements that perform some task and return the result to the caller. A method can perform some specific task without returning anything as well. There is a syntax for this. So first you have something called as a return type. Now what is this return type? Return type is something which this method is going to return. For example, if you are going to add two numbers, two in two plus two, sorry, add. For example, whenever you are going to add two numbers, I'm going to do two plus two is equals to four. Now, what is this return data that I am getting? So this is the return data. What is the type of the return data I am getting? It is integer. So first you have to write what type of return type it is going to return. That is your method is going to return. For example, if I am going to write here, I am going to write a function for add. Add function. For example, if I'm going to write a method here to add two numbers, add. So this is how you're going to write a method, the name of the method and the parenthesis. So after this, inside here, you have to write the logic of the method. If you see body of the method or logic or implementation written statement, that is adding. So I'll write two plus two. I'll give int a is equals to 2 plus 2 or if you are going now here I'm going to write the logic int a is equals to 2 int b is equals to 3 int c is equals to a plus b return c so this is one small method that i have written here so it is returning c here now what is the data type of c the data type of c is int so this is going to be the return type of this particular method so you're going to write the return type of that particular method and then the implementation. So one, a method is a collection of statements. It is a collection of statements that perform specific tasks and return the result to the caller. Done. A method can also perform some specific task without returning anything. Now, if you don't want it to return anything, you have to give the return type as void. Void means empty. It is not going to return anything. So that is void. One more example you have here that is class shop, class product. Inside this class, you have a method called as a product cell. Now, if you see here beside the method name cell, you have the class name product. If we see our previous videos where we have data type, there we had seen two types of data types. One was called as a primitive data type and the other one was called as a non-primitive data type, which are which were also called as the user defined data types. In there, in the non-primitive data type, class was also one of the data types. The same thing implies over here. Now, this is a class product and this can also act as a non-primitive data type. Now, this is a return type of cell. What you're going to sell? You're going to sell some product from this shop. So, your the return type will be product. Now, let us see some of the rules which are used for the method. Just like the rules that were for the identifiers, you have certain rules to use these methods. Method must have either return type or void, but not both. 
void method cannot return any data type yes we have seen because it is empty a method can have only one return type or only one return statement okay return type of the method and the returning value must match inside a method a return statement must be the last executable statement return type means the data type of the returning value int method return 40 now this what we are returning over here is an integer value so we are going to give the int method return type as int void method if we are returning zero and we are not returning anything else apart from then that then we are going to write it as void zero also comes under void string method string yes is equals to beast return yes now what is this yes yes is a string that is a beast so here we are going to write the return type as string class product so there is one class called as product and the return of this cell is product here from this class shop so product p is equals to new product and this new product itself should be returned here so we are returning the p which is the object the reference of your product and so we are going to return product here a method gets executed only when we invoke it that is we have to call this method somewhere in our program then only it is going to get executed a method can be invoked multiple times that is you can call the method again and again main method is not required for compilation rather required for execution we know that when it is going to compile we are not going to require that but when we are going to execute our program that is for the checking it is not required but when we are going to execute it we need the main method of our main program so these are some of the set of rules which you need to follow when you are going to write a method here let us see some uh, two examples so first example the very uh, previous example itself class pen which has uh, two states that is in the price and string color price is 40 color of the pen is black void write so we have written one method over here that is the write method why we have given it as a void because uh, we are just printing whatever we are giving to the we are giving as an input so that is only we are getting as an output so that is why we are going to write void because there are no calculation there is no nothing next public static void main string arg system dot out main starts pen p is equals to new pen we have created new object of the class pen p dot write that is we are invoking the function so this is how you are going to invoke a function when this function is called here that is p dot write then only this function is going to execute this particular line here so we have invoked the function two times and then we have ended our program let us see the output how it is going to come main function is going to start here so after the main function that is main start this this per, uh, this first line is going to get executed after that the new object will be created in your heap memory back with some object address and some uh, i mean the class name some object address and the states and behaviors of that particular class will be written here after that p dot write it is going to go to this object and it is going to check whether any write method is present in this object in this uh, particular class yes we have a write method so it is going to go to the write method system dot out dot print ln pen writes so it is going to print pen writes after that again it is going to come here and again pen dot write again it is going to give pen dot writes so two times it is going to execute this write function and after that system dot out dot print ln this is the normal output line main ends so this is one example second example class student string name is equals to aria string qualification is equals to be void study system dot out dot print ln you are going to print the name of the person and then you are going to print the normal line in the double quotes that is reads every day void sleep we have two methods here 
system dot out dot print ln name of that particular person sleeps eight hours. Now main normal output line main starts. We have created a new object of the student class because we want to access the data members and the data methods of this particular class. So yes dot study. So it is going to go. It is going to check whether study is a method present in your student class. Yes, it is there. So study is there here. So name of the student Arya. Arya reads every day. So Arya reads every day is printed. And sleep also. Yes dot sleep. Arya sleeps for eight hours. System dot out dot print ln and the main method ends here. So this is how you are going to write. A class with its states and methods, and how you are going to get the output. So now let us see it in a programmatical way. Let us create a new program, Java project demo one. Next, finish. Don't create. So inside this class, source. Control N class next class name student finish student. So here for the student you have two things. One is a string name is equals to Arya. This is called as direct initialization. You can also initialize it with the help of object reference as well. If there are two or more students, string qualification p dot e. So this is all about the student. Next, we do have the methods void study inside this system dot out name of the person plus reads every day I have omitted uh, the main okay then another method with a void sleep name of that person sleeps eight hours a day say so this is one method and this is another method and this is a class now, if you in a particular program, you can create multiple classes. So this is one class. Now for the main method execution, I'm going to create another class. Class. I'll just give the name as main. Inside this main method, main control space main method. So after this here, first let me create or let me just give a system dot out main starts now let us create an object of the student class student yes is equals to new student yes dot study so i want to print this first then I want to print yes dot sleep method and after that system dot out again saying main ends save this and run this function. Now you can see main starts aria reads every day. So you just have to give a bit of space here between reads and between sleeps. Save. Let me run it once again, keeping it in the main function. 
so main started so after that a student object was created in the student object with the object reference yes dot study it is going to go to the student class and it is going to check whether yes dot study is there yes study method is there study method what it is going to print the name of the person reads every day it is printing now again it is going to come to your main point and execute then next you have yes dot sleep again it is going to go to this reference that is yes in your heap memory it is going to check whether the sleep is there yes sleep method is again present so aria sleeps eight hours a day after that it is going to again come here and it is going to execute your another output statement which is main ends so this is how the execution of your class is going to take place in the coming videos let us see java programming in more detail and all the inheritance encapsulation and abstraction content till then stay tuned Bye-bye.